Hi, and welcome to the International Paderewski Piano Competition 2022. This is the competition studio. My name is Jared Dunn, and I'll be your host for the next 12 days. The competition studio takes place at 2.30 Central, Eastern, uh, Central European time and 8.30 a.m. Eastern time in the U.S. and in Canada. Uh, I'm definitely glad you're here and hope you'll follow the studio as the competition unfolds. This morning we already heard from the first seven competitors. We started at 10 a.m. here in Bydgoszcz. This is the 12th edition of the Paderewski International Piano Competition, which first took place in 1961. The competition is held in Bydgoszcz at the Felix Nowowiejski Academy of Music and the Pomeranian Philharmonic Hall. This year, 39 pianists came to Bydgoszcz from across Europe, Asia, and Great Britain. They brought with them four stages of repertoire, including three solo recitals and two concertos. These competitors were chosen through an audition process held earlier this year in China, in Italy, Japan, Poland, Austria, and the United States. Competitions were a big part of my student life, and at competitions I formed friendships and professional contacts that still continue to this day. It's a distinct pleasure to be in Vilgosht, because for several years I studied here at the Academy with Professor Katarzyna Popova Zidron. Thank you to the Paderewski Mus uh, Music Association for inviting me to be the host this year, and thank you in particular to the board and many organizers who make this competition possible. As competitors, we prepare for years and work and rework our programs, play them for our teachers, play in concerts. There's an enormous amount of preparation that goes into competing at this level. We all love the chance to play for the public. Audiences love coming to competitions uh, because they can empathize with the stress competitors feel and admire the level of playing they're hearing. We're fascinated by different performances of the same pieces that we've heard or ourselves performed many, many times. We wonder how the jury will react to what they hear. Above all, in competitions, the performances happen in such a quick succession that everything really does feel like a whirlwind, even though many hours are passing. In the competition studio, it's going to be a talk show where we take stock of these moments and much more. Uh, I've invited competitors uh, and I'm going to replay excerpts from their performances on stage. I also invited professionals uh, from different professions in the music field to talk about their work and the role that competitions play in it. I also invited the Paderewski competition jurors, and some of them might come if they have time. Right now they're busy at work, uh, dealing with the performances they're hearing on stage. The first round of the competition began this morning. Uh, in the first round, the competitors play a 25 to 30 minute recital of music of their choice. To hear 39 recitals like this is going to take four days, uh, today, November the 7th, November 8th, 9th, and 10th. Before I dive into my plans for the competition studio, I'd like you to see a few highlights from the first session this morning. I've chosen them from the first four pianists who performed just a couple of hours ago. First, you're going to hear Croatia's Mia Pechnik playing Berg Sonata, Opus 1, China's Kiao Liu playing the finale of Barber's Sonata, Opus 26, Poland's Andrzej Wierszynski playing the Bach Buzoni Chaconne in D minor, and Korea's Young Ho Park playing Debussy Feu d'Artifice. So now let's listen.
So you've just heard from the first four competitors we heard this morning. Uh, and now I'd like to say a few words about our competition jury. The jury at Paderewski competition this year consists of nine eminent pianists and pedagogues. The jurors come from all over the world, uh, and all of them have several important things in common. An exceptional amount of experience in competitions as both competitors and as jurors, world-class teaching acumen, and significant playing careers. The jury members include Mr. Piotr Palecznie from Poland. He's the president of the jury. Uh, Mr. Palecznie was alongside Mitsuko Uchida and Garrick Olsen as a laureate of the 8th International Chopin Competition in Warsaw. He's judged at numerous other international competitions like the Leeds, many times at Chopin and at the Rubinstein in Tel Aviv, and has had a long and successful concert and recording career. Ms. Vanessa Latarche from Great Britain uh, has performed and recorded the entire Well-Tempered Clavier by J.S. Bach and is currently the head of keyboard at the Royal College of Music in London. She is extensively broadcasted on the BBC radio and has advised the TV program Classical Star. She judges at many international competitions like Singapore, Hastings, and Cleveland. Vanessa Latarsh uh, is vice president of the jury. Mr. Rafał Blechacz from Poland. Uh, Mr. Blechacz came to major international attention as the first prize winner of the 15th International Chopin Competition in Warsaw, where he won every statutory prize, Best Mazurka, Best Concerto, Best Polonis, and Best Sonata. Winner of the Gilmore Award, Rafał Blechacz has concertized all over the world as, and is an exclusive Deutsche Grammophon recording artist. Mr. Stanislav Udenich from the United States achieved worldwide recognition as a first prize winner at the 11th Van Cliburn International Competition in 2001. He is an active professor of piano, currently on the faculty of Oberlin Conservatory and the International Piano Academy at Lake Como in Italy. He is the youngest pianist ever invited to give master classes there. Mr. Alberto Nosse from Italy was a prize winner at the 14th Chopin International Competition and first prize winner of the 2005 Santander International Competition. He is a co-founder of the International Amadeus Competition in Italy and founder of Amadeus Sound Project, his own recording label. He is a professor of piano at Verona Conservatory. Mr. Nikita Mdoyants, uh, from Russia and France, won first prize at the 2007 Paderewski competition and first prize at the 2016 Cleveland International Competition. He is also a prize-winning composer. He performs in the most prestigious concert halls like Carnegie Hall, Marinsky Theatre, Sal Corteau, and has worked with the world's greatest conductors. Ms. Noriko Ogawa from Japan is an in-demand juror of major competitions including the Leeds, Honen, and Cleveland. She herself is a laureate of the Leeds International Competition, which launched her international career. A professor at London's Guildhall School of Music and Drama, she has more than 30 recordings. She is also the chair of the jury at the Hamamatsu International Competition in Japan. Ms. Alicia Paleta Bugai from Poland is professor of piano at Warsaw's Chopin University of Music, where she was formerly the department head of piano. She has been on the qualifying committee for the Warsaw Chopin International and Paderewski competitions. She's performed across Europe, the United States, Africa, and Asia, and is a prominent teacher and pedagogical research advisor. Finally, Mr. Deng Tai Son from Vietnam uh, in 1980 became the first Asian pianist to win the gold medal at the International Chopin competition and has an illustrious performing career. Dang Tai Sun has performed in over 40 countries and judges regularly at the most major international competitions like the Chopin Rubinstein Hamamatsu and many others. He's recorded for Deutsche Grammophon, Analecta, and many other record labels. Currently, he teaches at the New England Conservatory in Boston. Now that you've heard a little bit about each of the jury members, I'd like to tell you about my plans for our time together here in the competition studio. As I said before, but I'll remind you, the competition studio is going to take place at 2.30 p.m. Central European Time. That's 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada and the U.S. and 9.30 p.m. in Hong Kong. The studio will last about a half an hour. Details are available on the Paderewski Competition website and its Facebook and Instagram pages. We're streaming live on YouTube, Facebook, and Amadeus TV. 
From the moment I agreed to host this, I wanted to make sure we could connect uh, with you, our viewers from all over the world, since not everyone can come to see the competition in person. You can send questions and, so and thoughts through the live comment section from whichever streaming service you're watching from. I'll try to answer them, but if I can't, I'll get to them in the next episode of the studio. If you have a specific question from, for someone in particular, like a competitor or one of our special guests, go ahead and email me at dunjared at gmail.com or find me on Facebook or Instagram. My Instagram is Jared Pianist. My guests in the studio will be more than happy to hear from you and have you join in our discussions. Speaking of guests, now I'd like to say a few words about the guests that I've invited. Uh, these are established music professionals from several specializations in our field. Uh, major teachers, uh, specialists in PR, conductors, and performance psychologists, because I think they can give us interesting perspectives about the professional music world, and they can make interesting competitions, uh, comments, excuse me, about competitions in general. I've scheduled the guests according to whose work aligns with the different competition stages that we're going to be hearing. So tomorrow, November 8th, we're going to be talking to the head of piano at Tone Bass. His name is Ben Lottie. We're going to hear about his role in Tone Bass and Tone Bass's wider role in piano education today. Ben was invited to be head of piano at Tone Bass in 2019, and we're going to hear about its impact ever since. To any Tone Bass users watching this, welcome, and please feel free to tune in via Tone Bass because Tone Bass will be streaming this interview. The next day, on November 9th, I'll be talking to the head of Tone Bass Piano Live, uh, Dominic Cayley, who's going to be joining us from Los Angeles. Dominic organizes masterclasses, workshops, and many special events for Tone Bass Piano community users worldwide. We'll hear about his career as a player and leader at Tone Bass, and again, Tone Bass will be streaming live. On November 10th, it's the end of the first stage, and we'll be hearing from competitors in the studio about their first round recitals. Then the jury will announce uh, a maximum of 20 competitors who move on to the second stage. How competitors advance from one stage of the competition to another is a matter of their performances in their first round, but it's also a matter of training. How do they prepare for this, and how do they cope with the pressures on stage? Although it's very thrilling to hear your name called on a list of competitors who are moving forward in the competition, there's always a feeling that more is expected of you if you want to proceed any further. Uh, at the same time, one's desire to proceed further in the competition is also heightening. The requisite training needed to perform at ever higher levels is what we're going to be talking about with two professors from New York's Juilliard School during the competition studio over the second stage. The second stage begins on November 11th, and in this stage, competitors play a 40 to 45 minute solo recital, which must include two works by Paderewski. On November 11th, Dr. Noah Kagayama will join us in the studio. Dr. Kagayama is a performance psychologist, and we'll be talking with him about strategies that performers use to cope with high pressure situations, especially things like competitions. Dr. Kagayama helps performers learn to optimize their playing through his teaching at Juilliard, and you can learn more about him by Googling Bulletproof Musician, which he founded. On November the 12th, we're talking with Juilliard School Chair of Piano, Dr. Veda Kaplinski, a former juror at the Paderewski and an experienced juror of many other competitions. Veda will tell us about her work at Juilliard, including her tenure as the Artistic Director of the Juilliard Pre-College. And I'm really looking forward to interviewing her about her views on early training of gifted musicians. Veda is one of my most treasured teachers because she helped me build a strong foundation for my own playing and teaching. On November 13th, the second stage of the competition will finish and we'll find out which 10 competitors are going to advance to the semifinal. My plan is to hear from competitors about their second stage experiences on that day as well. And if uh, the jurors have time, I'd like it if some of them could join me on the 13th. As new demands are placed on the competitors, in the studio of the semifinals, we're going to be talking about the challenge of adapting to new things as they're thrown at the competitors at a higher stage of competing. On November the 15th, the semifinal begins. Competitors play another 40 to 45 minute recital, each performing a work written especially for the competition by Polish composer Hanna Kuletne. This is a test because competitors have to learn a piece they've never heard and must form their interpretation without the help of a recorded history of that piece. 
The competitors must also play a Mozart concerto with Capella Bidgostiensis and Maestro Pavel Capua. On November 15th, Maestro Capua will be here in the studio to talk to us about the semifinals and the details of working with a Mozart concerto. Competitions are all about adapting to the high, higher levels of pressure. Indeed, the concert career requires us to adapt to new situations, new concert halls, schedules, repertoire, and many, many different pianos. But there's more afloat in the piano world today when it comes to adaptation. On November 16th, pianist Carol Leone and head of piano at Southern Methodist University in Dallas will tell us about the adaptation process to different pianos, keyboard sizes, and how narrower keys made by a specific piano manufacturer can offer pianists new expressive possibilities. On November the 16th, the competition finalists will be announced. The jury will choose five pianists to perform a substantial concerto with the Pomeranian Philharmonic Orchestra and Maestro Jakub Hrenovic. In the finals, pianists feel more than ever the imminent reality that such a competition as the Paderewski can take their performing career onto an international level. And if the competitors are already playing all over the world, the Paderewski will give them many, many more opportunities to play in new halls and with new orchestras. So I've scheduled my last two guests in the studio to talk about the challenges and details that emerging pianists need to think about as they consider uh, what their next career steps are. On November the 18th, we will be joined by Maestro Hranovic to hear about preparing enormous concertos with orchestra, such as the finalists will play, uh, and how important those concertos are in their emerging careers with new orchestras and new conductors they're going to be working with. Then our final competition studio on November 19th features Liz Parker, stylist and brand consultant and founder of Liz PR. Liz will be joining us live from Toronto, Canada. She's one of Canada's foremost experts in classical music branding. She styles and consults emerging and seasoned concert artists and is an authority on all things connected to PR. Liz will take us behind the scenes about photo shoots, styling, and branding oneself as a performer. She will also share how musicians can help make their best possible first impression through photographs and press kits. The results of the final stage will be announced on November the 19th, and after those results are announced, there will be an award ceremony and gala concerts. Before we finish today, I'd like to quickly recap things that you can remember as you tune in at the competition studio. Feel free to send your questions and thoughts to me at dunjared at gmail.com or find me on Facebook or Instagram. You can send questions also live during the competition studio and I'll be happy to answer them. The competition studio happens at 2.30 Central European time. Please feel free to visit the Paderewski's Facebook page or website for updated schedules and competition information. I'm Jared Dunn, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the competition studio with, tomorrow with Tone Bass Head of Piano, Ben Lotti. Thanks for joining me today, and I trust you're excited to see how the competition unfolds over the next 12 days. See you soon.
Są takie chwile w życiu, które zostają w pamięci. Gdy dźwięki otaczają nas z każdej strony, muzyka przytula. Najważniejsze, by ten czas spędzać z kimś, kogo kochamy, lubimy, szanujemy, w miejscu, które jest dla nas czymś ważnym, do którego zawsze chcemy wracać. Harmonia Pomorska. Daj się przytulić muzyce. Możesz budować formy na siłowni i grać niesamowite solówki. Możesz oddać się pasji gotowania i miksować ścieżki. Możesz pielęgnować swoje rośliny i trygować chórem. Możesz uwieczniać piękne momenty i występować na wielkich scenach. W Akademii Muzycznej w Bydgoszczy stawiamy na Twoją swobodę i rozwój. Dlatego dołącz do nas i poczuj, że naprawdę możesz.
Bydgosz, the capital and the largest city of the Kujawian Pomeranian region. It is a city of two rivers, the Vistula, the Bruda and the historic Bydgoszcz Canal. Picturesquely located between forests, it was associated with water from the very beginning. Water is one of the city's elements, and the old granaries standing by the Bruda River tell about its past and the identity of its inhabitants. A remarkable object on the map of Bydgoszcz is the 18th century Bydgoszcz Canal. It contributed to a rapid development of trade and industry, and it associated its residents with the traditions of the skippers and inland navigation forever. The canal, along with the Vistula and Bruda River, is a part of the international E-70 waterway connecting Western Europe with the historic Krulewiec. The revitalized Roder's Mills on the Mill Island have become a place of cultural gatherings and concerts. The Mill Island itself is a vibrant heart of the city that offers world-class entertainment, not only in Opera Nova, but also in a picturesque natural setting on the stage built on the Bruda embankment. The city can be explored by boats or by a solar boat. From the water level, we can see even more clearly how the past connects with the present and modernity. The living museum created on the renovated Lemara barge tells about the traditions of skippers. From the marina of Bydgoszcz, we can set out in a canoe on a river journey around the city. The monuments of hydraulic engineering can be visited from the picturesque bicycle paths. And in the evening, 